Hello and welcome to Ausstock, the program where we look at what's happening in the Australian markets at the moment. I'm your host, Mike Loder, and right now we are looking at the financial reporting season for Australian listed companies. Pleasure to be here. All right, let's dive right in. We're obviously approaching the end of a full financial reporting season for Australian listed companies. I'm curious to know what you guys have observed over the last 12 months um, and how things have fared, really, if you can give us an overview. It was another strong reporting season. Uh, profits for 2022 were up around 20%, uh, and that is quite remarkable given what happened in the second half of the financial year. We had Omicron, flu, continued uh, disruptions in supply chains, uh, massive weather, weather events, uh, but earnings were delivered within expectations. They were always going to be elevated as we're coming out of lockdowns and, and COVID, uh, but they navigated particularly well in the second half in very demanding conditions. Yeah, it's nice to see that things have sort of crawled back to life. Uh, but did you identify any sectors or companies that have either maybe excelled or perhaps did struggle um, post that COVID-19 uh, reopening as doors opened and we started traveling again and shops started selling again? Well, where we saw um, sort of the most positive developments was actually Australian companies operating in the US market in consumer staples. They didn't have the same sorts of disruptions that we've had in the last six months. So companies like Amcor and Brambles delivered results uh, at the upper end of their guidance, delivering both sales and earnings growth. And both uh, were very successful in passing through uh, significant cost inflation uh, and that's so that was significant in allowing them to grow their earnings uh, to sort of high single digits and they also uh, suggested that uh, FY23 again was going to be another strong year both in terms of revenue and earnings. Fingers crossed for the weeks ahead my friend thank you so much again for your time.